name is Jeanette. I'm the student physical therapist that's going to be working with you today. Hi, um, how are you? I'm good, thank you. How are you? Good. I'm just going to verify your name is... Nadia. Okay, very good. And I'm seeing you today for a... Um, Open reduction internal fixation on your right um, distal radius. Is that correct? That is correct. Okay. So at this point, you are in a fixed cast mm -hmm. and you cannot move your wrist. Um, so what we're going to be doing today is we're going to work on range of motion of the, um, you know, with the proximal joints. So we're gonna work on some finger range of motion, some elbow range of motion, and some shoulder range of motion, mm -hmm. okay? Um, before we get started, um, how are you feeling? What's your pain level like? I know it's about a five. It's about a five, mm -hmm. so you're kind of in some pain from it still. Yeah, your surgery was sore. just, you know, um, your surgery was just yesterday, yeah. so you, you, you should be feeling some pain, but they've given you some narcotics. Um, one thing that you can do um, to reduce pain as well is to keep that elevated. Mm -hmm. um, so when you're sleeping or resting, make sure that you keep that up on a pillow. Okay. Um, and one thing that we're gonna do, are, we, are you okay to go forward and do a little bit of yeah. stuff right now? Okay. Um, the first thing that I want you to do is we're gonna be doing some finger exercises. So I want you to hold your arm up and then we're gonna bend the fingers straight out flat and then you're gonna bring them curled, and then you're gonna close into a fist, bring them back here, put them back out, and then back up, okay? I want you to do this 10 times in a fist. Okay, back up. Good job, okay, what I'd like you to do that 10 times. Okay, and while you're doing that, um, you know, some precautions that you want to follow. I'm not sure if your surgeon has said anything to you, but you definitely don't want to put any weight on your wrist. So mm -hmm. when you're getting up, you know, out of bed in the morning or whatever, you wanna make sure that you don't, you know, put your hand down and push up on it to put too much pressure on that. Um, as far as gripping and lifting things, you know, some things are okay. We want you to continue on with things, you know, you should be able to tie your shoe, um, but you don't want to lift anything heavier than, say, a cup of coffee or something to drink. Um, brushing your teeth is fine. Those things are actually good to kind of keep things going and moving. Um, you just don't want to do anything heavier that will disrupt that until it has a chance to heal. Okay. Um, you'll be in a cast, you know, the fixed cast for a while. And once that comes off, then we can start working on range of motion in your wrist. Um, so that'll be different, but for now, we're gonna be sticking with this. Another exercise you can do is to just close your hand into a fist, kind of do fist pumps, closing your fingers and then opening them back up. Okay, all right. So another thing I'd like to see you do is just some basic elbow extensions and flexions. So you're gonna bring your arm out straight and bring it back up. Bring it out straight and bring it back up. So you can do that 10 times as well. And then we're also gonna work with a little bit, and I know it seems kind of far, but we can also keep things moving with our shoulder. We're bringing it all the way up and down and back up and down. And then you can also go out to the side and do some adduction kind of take it away. But be careful with that wrist, you want to keep it. I know you don't have a lot of room to move in here, but work in the best of what we got, okay? So these are some simple things um, that I want you to continue working on when you're at home. Um, you should probably work each of these exercises that I showed you. I have printed out for you on this little exercise thing. It gives you pictures. Okay. It gives you step-for-step -step instructions. And it even tells you over here, what I'd like you to do is I'd like you to do each of these exercises for three sets of 10 repetitions. And I want you to keep doing them throughout the day. We're gonna do them six times a day. So, okay. you know, obviously the first time is when you wake up in the morning and right before you go to bed at night and just space it out every few hours. You know, you wanna keep it upon your pain level and keep your arm elevated um, when you're resting. If you start having pain, like sharp pains or your fingers go numb, 
stop what you're doing, let it rest, see if it subsides. If it doesn't subside, okay. call your doctor immediately, okay? Mm -hmm. um, signs that you wanna watch for are, you know, any signs of infection, if you have a burning sensation, if it feels like it, I mean, I know it's a cast, so you can't really tell, because you, you may have a little bit of perspiration in there, but if you feel any other kind of drainage, or if it feels wet where your incision was, um, and a foul odor, that is a sign of infection as well. So if you get, if your <laughs> casts, kind of get a little foul smelling anyways, but if it's if it's pungent and it's quick, you wanna make sure you have that looked at uh, okay. right away. Okay, so... Um, what is this exercise in the back here? I don't think we went over Oh, that. I'm sorry, that was the wrist. <laughs> That's the wrist, pro it's a forearm pronation and supination. So what you're gonna do is you can put your elbow right on here, okay, and you wanna be palm up, and then you're just gonna rotate your arm and go palm down. But your... your um, you're doing this here with your forearm. Mm -hmm. So you're going to keep your elbow still and then just go up, palm up, and palm down. So palm down, palm up. So that's another one that you can do. It's just kind of keep everything moving so that we don't get too stiff. Okay. Um, and then hopefully, you know, we'll, we'll see you back in a few days and um, see how you're doing with those, if there's some other things we want to try to add to it. Okay? All right, sounds good. All right. Well, if you have any questions, my number is right on here. You can, you can contact me. You can email or call me at any time. All right. All right. Sounds good. Thank you. All right. We'll see you in a few days. See you soon. All right.